Here at Rich People, we love to share the craziest things money can buy, and our subject today might just surprise you. While many of the world's wealthiest people have built magnificent hidden mansions, mega yachts 100 to feet long, and even speedy private jets, how many can say they built their own private jungle oasis in the middle of a busy city center? Well, that's exactly what Jeff Bezos did when he built Amazon's Rainforest Spheres. The spheres are part of Amazon's $4 billion campus, and boy are they beautiful. With over 40,000 plants from over 50 countries, the spheres include colossal plant walls and a 55-foot tree named Ruby that had to be transported by truck from hundreds of miles away. But there is much more about these spheres that would make even the wealthiest people jealous of this jungle paradise. So sit back and relax as we go through everything about Bezos' beautifully constructed private rainforest. And of course, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to hear about all things rich people. To give some context to this engineering marvel, Bezos and company began planning the private rainforest project back in 2012 when they purchased three blocks of land in the middle of downtown Seattle. Originally, Amazon was planning on using the space to build another workplace tower, but later came up with the idea of a spherical biophilic conservatory instead, aimed to create a workspace that coexists with nature. Cause who really needs another boring cubicle anyway? To get the job done, Bezos went to one of the most prestigious architecture firms, NBBJ. Given Jeff Bezos only goes for the best, he built the spheres sparing no expense as they used over 2,600 panes of glass and about 1.25 million pounds of steel to build the jaw-dropping, beautiful structures. The spheres are located right below Amazon's iconic Day One Tower, a glamorous creation in its own right that features a sign that reads, Hello World, at the bottom of the east facade. But these spheres really add that extra pop to the Amazon headquarters. Taking up over half of the city block, Bezos' spheres range 80 to 95 feet tall. While everyone calls them spheres, that's technically oversimplifying things. These spheres are in reality an overlapping five-sided pentagonal structure. You know what they say, the richer you are, the more complicated the polygon. But there was an actual reason for the complexity. Bezos' spheres pay homage to the design of the Seattle 1962 Futuristic World Fair. Now while the spheres may seem like a giant waste of space, they actually serve a purpose to Bezos. The spheres house a cafeteria, stairways, elevators, and even bathrooms. Not to mention tranquil meeting spaces, tables, and benches. All in all, the spheres can fit close to 1,000 people in total. In fact, on any given day, the spheres are being used for meetings, on-site client presentations, dinner parties, or even just a place for employees to lounge and grab a coffee. While the design of the spheres are impressive on their own, it's really their ecosystem that makes them truly special. Bezos and Amazon built a specific ecosystem just for the spheres called Cloud Forests. Cloud Forests contain plants that grow at high altitudes, which allow them to draw moisture right off the clouds in the air. As such, they have high humidity, but lower temperatures. And one of the coolest things about the spheres is how Amazon regulates the cloud forest climate. Amazon recycles heat from the surrounding data centers, towers, and pipes into the concrete floors of the spheres itself. Even cooler is the custom interior light setup that uses sensors to automatically adjust the lighting in the spheres based on the outside environment. This serves to keep light levels similar to areas near the equator all year long, which really supports the foliage. Ah, foliage the rich person word for plants. Speaking of foliage, these spheres contain over 40,000 plants from over 50 countries. Bezos got very hands-on in the planning process of his company's Zen jungle. When he first saw blueprints for the spheres' plants, Bezos was displeased to see that the spheres would be pretty empty at the opening and it would take five years to fully develop the ecosystem. So Bezos demanded that the spheres be densely packed with the aesthetic green feel of year five at the grand opening. And so it was done. What can we say? Rich people can make things happen. Thank God Jeff Bezos demanded more because the jungle is absolutely breathtaking. The spheres are split up into three sections. The first section is an old world garden inspired by Africa and Asia. However, 
There is a beautiful Australian tree fern in the middle of the space. It's located on 6th Avenue, and there is actually a retail space below it. Did we forget to mention that Bezos needed his private rainforest to have a gift shop too? The second part is a New World garden that focuses on the Americas. In fact, this garden has a 49-year-old fig tree named Ruby that was transplanted hundreds of miles away from California. Ruby is 55 feet tall, so let's just say that transplanting Ruby and getting her in the sphere is a little more complicated than the typical tree. Looping around the majestic Ruby is an elevated walkway that can be used for more active discussions about rich people things like exotic vacations and next week's dinner at Seattle's premier steakhouse. And if walking next to Ruby isn't good enough, employees can sit and relax in The Nest, one of the most unique spaces on the planet. The Nest is a wooden bench structure dangling over the elevated floor. Built to look like a bird's nest, you can say employees are constantly flocking to have meetings there. Now the final section may just be the coolest one yet. The biggest sphere contains large looking plant walls which have over 25,000 plants, including carnivorous ones. The behemoth wall is about 60 feet tall and spreads across the main columns in the largest sphere. And boy are these walls a sight to behold, covering over 4,000 square feet. They are watered from the top down and on them you can expect to find many species from different climates living together. In addition to the three unique sections, scattered around are wall pocket ecosystems, a small river and waterfall, and tanks that contain plants and fish. There truly is so much going on in these spheres that make them extraordinary. And that's everything on Bezos' majestic jungle oasis. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and hit that notification bell to make sure you stay up to date on all our latest content. Until then, we'll see you next time here on Rich People.